victory or death. Hello, Starfighters. If you're just now joining us on YouTube, you are watching the 1999 comedy American Pie. Uh, <laughs> and I'm watching it along with Chris. That's me. <laughs> Chris, do you already hear this right now? <laughs> it's just like bones um, going yeah, on. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's kind of why I didn't say anything. I was like, what? <laughs> okay, here's the thing, though. This is 1999. Was there... I mean, there was porn back then, but not yeah. oh, he's on the VHS. Oh, oh my God. No way. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm so spoiled with porn. I'm like, if I had to watch it in that kind of format, I'm not even watching it. Like, I just <laughs> don't care at that point. <laughs> oh, my God. What? What? There is no way she just is like, un. Nope. Wait. <laughs> like how the dad is just walking by and he just decides He's to like, come in. Yeah. Uh, what, what's on the TV? Whoa, why was he still looking there a little bit? <laughs> he like looked like what? Oh, but his eyes were still there. I'm like, what what's going on? <laughs> this is so weird. Oh my god. Alright, well, it's gonna be that kind of movie. <laughs> as it just as it exactly. told us. Dude, okay. Here's a conversation. Illegal channels. Did you ever used to watch like the Cinemax? porn um, on there like on like the movie channel no uh, i don't think i even knew those channels existed until like way later when they're like you guys remember these channels i was like what oh, channels dude, <laughs> let me tell you because as a kid or probably like as a teenager i used to we used to have like showtime hbo hbo and, and all that stuff um cinemax you used to have like softcore porn and stuff like that. And it's so funny, like looking back at it, because it was really nothing, right? It was just people just dry humping yeah. each other. But it was all about story and plot. <laughs> like there was a legit story, plot, and then towards the end they actually have sex. And it was so satisfying to watch and see these people come together. They would have crazy storylines. Crazy. I remember like someone like their father died, and so now they have to move back into their house, and then now the ghosts of her past were, like, having sex with each other. <laughs> what? <laughs> it was so hilarious. But yet, yeah, it was, like, serious at the same time. Oh, my God. Do you know this actress? The blonde one? She does look familiar. She, she's been on a lot of stuff. Um, she was on Van Wilder. Which was a National Lampoon movie. She's been yeah. on Scrubs. Um, I think that's probably what I know her from. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she plays the sister of Dr. Cox's wife. I forgot her <laughs> character's name. Because I love Scrubs. Who is that? I know that actress. She looks familiar. What? Why would you say that to a friend? It's not a space shuttle launch. <laughs> Something Jacob would say. No, I'm joking. <laughs> um, I remember this actor, too. Yeah. Look who it Wait. is. It's Sean William Scott. If those guys are friends, why did he just call him a fuck face? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I heard. I'm like, what? I'm guessing this is what people used to do back in the day. Oh, dang. <laughs> 
why see this is what i hate like why would that matter like it legit doesn't matter yeah. is like that sex mouthwash? like having sex losing your virginity it literally does not matter it's the media telling you that it matters and that's what yeah. the media does it belittles you telling you that you need something yeah, yeah. You need in order this, for you to you buy to something look like this, yeah, all stuff like that. <clears throat> I can't believe there's like, well, let's see how many movies there are of this franchise. Absolutely insane. Of course, this guy drives like a scooter. <laughs> American Pie. Holy crap. There's like way more. Because there's like, I want to say there's three American Pie movies, and then there's yeah. six spin offs. No, five oh spin offs. There's American Pie Bandcamp, American Pie, The Naked Mile, Beta House, The Book of Love, and Girls Rules, which just came out in 2020. Oh my god, they released one recently? <laughs> well, not semi-recently. No, yeah, that's pretty recently, yeah. because that one came out in 2020, and the one that came out before that was like 2009. So I don't know how do you... <laughs> I don't know if people are asking for this. Yeah. Crazy. You know it's an older movie because that guy's name is Sherman. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's see. Okay, Chris. It's the year is nineteen ninety nine. Yeah. We're in high school, senior year. I'm guessing this is a Friday night. What are you what yeah. are you doing? What would you be doing? Would you be at this party or would you be doing something else related to nineteen ninety nine that you could do? Honestly, I probably wouldn't be at this party. <laughs> I I wouldn't be there either. I wouldn't be caught dead there. I feel like I wouldn't even hear about it. I'd like come to school and everyone had been like, that was a crazy party. And I was like, there was a party? Oh. <laughs> like, what? There was a party? <laughs> I'll tell you what I'm doing. The year is 1999. I'm 100% sitting my ass in front of a TV watching Smackdown and Raw. <laughs> <laughs> the freaking attitude error is where I'm at. Okay. Um... I'm watching that. I'm watching the last bits of Star Trek Deep Space Nine. There's so <laughs> much great f freaking TV. It's 1999. The season one of Farscape is out. Bro, you won't find me outside the house. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, she has a nice smile. Why do those free girls kind of have the Powerpuff Girls like color palette? Mm. One of them's like wearing red. One of them doesn't yeah, have green. blue, but kind of has blonde hair. The other one's wearing green. Okay, honestly, if I were to talk to either one of them, it would be the one in the green. Yeah. She, I, I don't know what it is, but I have a thing for women who look so casual. <laughs> <laughs> I think women who look so casual, so ordinary... Is like the sexiest thing in the world. I feel like if if I was like in high school with these guys the same year, I would hear this party from these kids. Mm. <laughs> and be like, we're going to the party. And then uh that'd be it. 
Yeah, now I'm intrigued of that one girl. I wish they would show her <laughs> the ordinary friend. <laughs> she looks like, and I hate using this term, but she looks like the duff of the group. You know, you know what that is? Yes. <laughs> Have you seen that movie? <laughs> I, I've seen a good bit of the movie. <laughs> um, I have the DVD. I'm like staring right at it. <laughs> um, but yeah, for anyone who doesn't know, a duff is it's an acronym for designated ugly fat friend, which is so horrible to say, right? Yeah. And it's funny because in the movie, the woman who they say is a duff didn't really classify as a duff. She wasn't ugly. She wasn't fat. And they never really treated her like a friend, so <laughs> it's very weird. Here's probably why I was never into these actresses growing up. I'm not into blondes. I don't know what it is. Yeah. I mean they're pretty, but Yeah. I'm out of here. I don't understand. Why don't you just go back to your house? You know what I mean? Yeah, why go back to the party even like, guys, my night sucks. <laughs> when everyone's like downstairs, that's weird. I would imagine if you're dating her for a while, your parents know her. They're yeah. cool with her. Maybe, you know, you've had her over for dinner quite a few times. I'm sure it's like no big, no big deal for her to like hang out maybe in your room watch movies yeah. or whatever i'm pretty sure they wouldn't bug out because i'm guessing how old are they like 17 18 probably yeah i would imagine so yeah i'm sure it's not that big of a deal i mean i would let my my son totally hang out with his his girlfriend in their room like alone no yeah. but at that moment as a parent i would have already had that conversation with him like about yeah. sex and all that stuff and what can happen. Oh, oh, I already know what's gonna happen. Wait, what happened? Did he just? He... I think he just uh added something to oh. the beverage. Wait, why would he do that? I don't know, but I have a <laughs> feeling this guy is gonna accidentally drink that now. Then well, why would he do that? That doesn't make. What were they doing? <laughs> I don't I don't know, man. Nothing I, makes sense. What I was trying what? to I'm still trying to figure out why that happened. I was like, what? Oh god, no. It's someone else's beer for God's sakes. That's also one thing to think about. Like, this is somebody else's beer. <laughs> You have a lot of teeth, miss. <laughs> yeah. Got his face. <laughs> Doing what? Uh, <laughs> this is literally the type of human being that's gonna go on to have nothing but daughters the fuck xenophobe xenophobia I remember that movie you ever seen that movie no I didn't even know there was a movie called that <laughs> it's like an indie independent movie right is that what you're thinking of um 
I, I don't know. I just didn't know there was a movie called that. So. Oh, oh, oh. Um, <laughs> Xeno, Xeno, is it called Xenophobia? It's called Xeno something. It's like an indie movie about, um, um, it's about a dude who somehow has the ability, he finds out he has the ability to morph into a woman. Oh. But I don't know if he has, like, memory of it when he morphs into a woman. So this is just, like, about him sleeping around. (laughs) Holy shit, is it? That's who it is? That's who I think it is. Why is he in this movie? (laughs) Oh! That's uh, Uh, John Cho, I think, right? From Harold and Kumar. Yeah. What the? What, he's just randomly in here. <laughs> Everyone's got to start somewhere. Okay. The thing is, so they made the big point that they were looking in the doorway, but that door was like wide open that they could have seen her before they go, <laughs> huh? <laughs> It was like, that door was wide I, open. How did you not see her before? <laughs> I can see why this movie's so cheap. It's like in this entire, it's like in one location, this entire movie. <laughs> yeah. You have the school and then you have the house. That's it. Yeah. Oh, wait! What did he say? He was saying something about enough of just these blowjobs. I need to get laid. She was like, "Whoa, man!" <laughs> and then that's what she. Oh, left. that's what she did. Well, that's awesome. Why is he complaining? Because <laughs> he needs to get laid, man. <laughs> Him and his boys—they all need to get laid. <laughs> Oh, dude, now I get it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Now you gotta I be like them. this guy, Sherman. What the? Oh my god, imagine being called Sherman. <laughs> Still in one location. Where are these women? Do they just. These women have like literally cutting boards for ass. <laughs> it's like, I just. It's crazy. I just know for a fact if any of these like American Pie movies were made today, like if they made a new one, mm-hmm. the word Riz would be used so much in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's Riz? It's like basically like when you, it's like if you talk to, you know, like when you're talking to someone, you're really hitting it off or like you can smooth talk them, you know, you got Riz. <laughs> when has that been a thing? <laughs> Riz? Um, uh, for a decent bit. <laughs> but yeah, I could see that word being used so much in, in today's version of this. Riz, I never heard of that. <laughs> Maybe I'll tell Tam Tam we have Riz. <laughs> <laughs> Good. This man did not just compare working out to having sex. Being like, you need someone to motivate you to do it, man. (laughs) Isn't that what's his name from like a kid in Aladdin's palace? I think so. Oh my god. (laughs) Oh my god. Uh, You know, we gotta make a stand with them. (laughs) What's some fucking losers? 
Exact. <rire> Did you ever have a place like this? Like, uh, I guess, like a local restaurant that you and your friends would always go to? Um, I think the only one I can think of that me and my friends would, like, go to on a Friday after school, because it was, like, right next to school, was Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it wasn't exactly a restaurant, but, uh... Yeah, I mean, it counts. Um... I never experienced that until my later years of college. Yeah. And I remember it was like after every Wednesday, all of us, and I wasn't even in their class, but I was so well known at that campus that I was invited and we all went to Paradise Grill. It was like a place that has like tacos and all this other type of food stuff. It was fun. It was always fun seeing everyone. And I still have like video footage of it because I love to record memories. Yeah. Um, good times. Good times. I felt like I was in a sitcom. <laughs> Is this guy just playing golf? <laughs> I feel like there's no there's no communication going on. If you really want your you and your partner to to like do something sexual or whatever, uh, there's got to be communication. Yeah. Right. I feel like the only person he's communicated about this is himself and his friends. <laughs> Wait, why is that guy getting like all the condoms? <laughs> Everybody else got like one box. He got like five. Yeah. Uh, what? <laughs> Do you want to talk about it? <laughs> this doesn't sound right. What the? <laughs> what? what the fuck what? was that? What the? What is going on? <laughs> I can't remember who this actress is. She's been in something. Yeah. Oh my god, John Cho is back. <laughs> oh, he kind of, he kind of, he kind of singing it. Oh. Mm-hmm. What? I already hate this movie. I, I hated that whole dialogue with her and that guy and, and the guy. Just lies upon lies upon lies. Even though that's probably how a lot of people lose their virginity. Oh, that's definitely. Who is that actress? I don't know. Oh my god. What the fuck? At least they knocked this time. <laughs> oh, they they probably learned from last time. Yeah. <laughs> Again. <laughs> what, oh, no. What did he get him? Oh, did he give him, like... No way. <laughs> this is the female form? Wait, what? That's what 
the dad just said with the magazine. It's, it's a, a forum was, or form? A form. I'm like, oh. who says form? <laughs> That's boring. <laughs> Thought he was giving them like some Playboy mags. Dude. Which, by the way, that's a whole conversation I want to have with someone. What is Playboy? Like, what is the point of Playboy? Um, probably to <sighs> sell magazines to the audience that really enjoy this movie. But I'm like, who? How have they not gone out of business by now? <laughs> I I don't even know, dude. <laughs> Like, it's just, like, I always felt like Playboy was, like, just teasing. Like, they never did anything, yeah. though. You could just go on the internet and see, like, the actual stuff. <laughs> no. Um... This reminds me of a really funny story when I went to Japan. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. This might be good. <laughs> if you... I have so many crazy stories about Japan. I share one of them on Pretty Woman that I didn't finish. But maybe I'll tell you tell you that one because this is freaking hilarious. Um, <laughs> fucking stupid. Um, so in Japan crazy it's super crazy if you go into any convenience store any gas station you can even go into yeah. like a 7-eleven because 7-elevens are like popular over there for some yeah. reason literally right when you walk in the store they don't even hide it and it's free access to anybody at any age there is like a whole rack like a whole aisle yeah. full of like uh n- n- nude magazines Oh, some of my friends went to Japan. I think I remember one of them talking about that. Yeah, it is like just there for the taking. And I remember, I was, I remember when I walked into the store with my my brother and, and some friends. We were looking at it. We we're like, this is freaking crazy. It's just out in the open. And then yeah. some kid just walked in and we just started looking at the magazine. <laughs> Like, there's no way, man. <laughs> it was crazy. And it's like mostly a lot of it was like cosplay stuff. Women in outfits. I guess that's like huge yeah. over there. I guess so. A lot of sailor magazines. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> What? <laughs> what? The Bible. Amsterdam. <laughs> My brother just went to Amsterdam. He says it's pretty wild over there. Fluid dynamics? <laughs> <laughs> Fluid dynamics. Right above the... Uh... Oh my god. That's disgusting. I wouldn't even touch that book. That's like if you're opening that book up, you'd like get gloves or something. Yeah. But I don't get it. What is that book going to tell you that you can't really like, you know, read an article on that? I'm pretty sure Playboy magazine back in the day, that was that's probably what it was. Right. Not only was it just like nudie pictures, but like articles. One black dude here, he does not have any lines. They just got him standing there singing. Yeah, looking proper though. At least he looks nice. Yeah. <laughs> he 
He's not in a do rag in his pants sagging. Yeah. <laughs> Wearing super ba- baggy t shirt. You know, got some gold chains around. Yeah, <laughs> gold chain. The, the whole Chavez, you know. At least he doesn't have a gun in his in his uh. <laughs> oh <laughs> <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, if you say so, lady. I haven't seen one one lady here yet in this movie that I'm like super attracted to. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, how she said you. <laughs> I was like, what? All right. These movies do not exist anymore comedies like this i almost feel like comedies just don't exist no and they put all the comedy in the marvel movies (laughs) yeah lord have mercy which by the way i'm actually my newest video that i'm working on right now i'm in the writing stages of it i'm talking about the golden era of romantic comedies yeah i'm gonna talk about have romantic comedies died if they did die how did it happen and then like what is a romantic comedy because i feel like everyone's really confused on what is truly a romantic comedy and then just talk about like amazing romantic comedies people should know yeah it's um it's gonna be really fun especially the the beginning the intro because i'm gonna talk about every genre has had a golden error and then for each error i'm gonna do an impression of it And, like, do, like, really good editing and stuff like that. Yeah. No. What? Why? (laughs) What made made him think that immediately when he saw the pie? It was because earlier in the movie, I think when he was at the party, one of the guys was like, it's just like a warm apple pie. Oh. And I was like, okay, that's definitely foreshadowing to now... What the now frick? where we are. <laughs> Why is he humping the counter? It's the pie there, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> Why the counter? Why don't you throw it away now before she gets back? Otherwise, but why the question. counter? <laughs> <laughs> why didn't you just yeah, take it in your room? room or something? <laughs> it makes no sense. Bro, you can get this information even at your local library in the just regular Caution, freaking books. Not for the faint. <laughs> he just like straight up recorded him. Lacrosse. Never played lacrosse. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not really attracted to her, but I love her outfits. I love women in casual outfits. (laughs) The more boring you look, the more amazing you look. (laughs) Yeah. Oh my god. Wait, this guy's name is Chris? What? Wait, is that you? <laughs> I I sure hope not, dude. <laughs> that is you. <laughs> no, it's Kinda not. Looks no, like you now. No. no, no, he doesn't. He looks nothing like maybe me. He's, maybe he's a relative. <laughs> oh my god. An, an, an ancestor.
East Great Falls? What is? Are they friends with him? I don't know. Working the moves, Chris. <laughs> That's, yeah. yeah. If only this Chris could do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's foreshadowing. So that means I have to join a choir, a jazz choir, and um, play lacrosse? <laughs> no, it means that you need friends who not only fuck pies, but who also ejaculates in beer. <laughs> and and reads a book on how to have sex essentially <laughs> and have parents who don't knock <laughs> yeah look how she has like a push up bra right there it's freaking uh, crazy I hate it I hate how they sell sex Bro, you should have been reading. You should have read this beforehand. Here we go again. This, you know what this movie is about? It's just about parents <laughs> walking in on their children. Oh my god. <laughs> no way. Yeah, what does a family portrait have to be in front of his room? <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty weird. I'm gonna ha I'm gonna be honest with, with, oh with you. God. He needs these conversations because there's no reason why you should be fucking a pie. <laughs> yeah. You need to endure this conversation. No way! This man just said pinched the one-eyed snake. <laughs> what? So what is he, like a boomer? What is these analogies? I, I don't know, dude. I'm still trying to get over Pinch the One-Eyed Snake. Is this what... Ugh, I don't want to say that. I, it's, it's very interesting. It's very interesting to see in what era in movies that they kind of viewed women as like the token women that is like the most attractive to everyone. Um, it's very interesting. Thus far, this movie is highlighting women with no ass, no chest, just good teeth, which is important. Yeah. And just pretty faces. What? What? The blazing eagle? Why don't they talk to her? She looks ordinary. That's my type. <laughs> uh. Of course, uh, she has ADR. Of course, she has to be a foreign, foreign lady.
This is so weird. I know who that actress is, and she's like that nowhere close sense. to being foreign. <laughs> is she meant to? Is she meant to be French? She has a ballet practice. I think she's doing like a mix French and Russian. I don't think she's doing it right. Oh <laughs> <clears throat> Why don't you just hire an actual bilingual actress? Clearly, she doesn't need much screen time. Yeah. A jock. No, wait, wait, what? Jerk. <laughs> it's, the, it's, the, it's the company you keep, man. Uh, I honestly feel like they're not even friends with him. He just tags along. Yeah, he's just kind of there. <laughs> He's like in one of those sitcoms where you know they have the the guest character that comes in every now yeah. and then. Yeah, <laughs> that's literally his role. Go home, Roger. Exactly. That's exactly who he is. <laughs> that's crazy. I'm because so this actor, Sean William Scott, he's he's been pretty open about. Uh, this movie in his career and he kind of felt like he was typecasted after this because he wanted to do more yeah. serious roles but really couldn't huh. I think the entire cast of this movie was typecasted because of this film yeah which is insane right because Jason Briggs has not played a different role than what he's playing right now yeah did you know he actually played? He voiced one of the Ninja Turtles in one of the cartoons. Which one? Like the um, 2003 one? No, it's like the 2012 one. It was on Nickelodeon. Oh, how cool! Because I was rewatching it and I was like, "What?" I was like, "Who is this guy?" And I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> oh, that's cool. Which I found funny because he was wearing blue throughout some of the shots earlier. I was like, "Is that the ultimate foreshadowing?" <laughs> Mm. Oh my god. <sighs> what is he doing? Cuz um I from what I think oh, he's going to like record streaming. <laughs> what a fucking sick pervert. Ugh. Yeah. By the way, this actress was in Jane Silent Bob Strikes, Strikes Back. <laughs> Very funny. Uh, She's the one who plays the love interest of Jay. And he's yeah. like, I'm going to nickname you my boo boo kitty fuck. <laughs> oh my God. No way. He's basically doing the first ever Twitch stream when you think about it. <laughs> he's literally like streaming to his friends <laughs> the first ever oh twitch God. screen <laughs> literally that's like they're watching it live <laughs> that's the best way to describe it dude 1999 i wouldn't even be on a computer look at that where is he going yeah where are you going it would have been real. I don't know why. Uh, I don't know why I was thinking it was funny. It would have been funny if he just pushed that lady off the sidewalk. <laughs> he was like, "Yeah, that would have been funny." <laughs> if you, it would have been funny if he would have just straight up trucked her <laughs> with his shoulder. <laughs> just like clotheslined her. Oh, I love the song. It's a Blank One Eighty Two. Uh, wait. Wait. What? what? Why wait, is she taking? What? what it, that's what I was about to say. Why why is she just like getting naked? Did we miss something? This is abuse. What are they doing? Oh my god. Oh god. I did not know she did nude in her movies. Why didn't she get nude in, in Jane Silent Bob? Her tits are fake. I don't care. 
<laughs> I think I'm I'm just like why is she naked now? Yeah, I don't I don't get it. You know for a fact that dad is going to open the door at some point. Yeah, he and always like, does. Oh my god. <laughs> but why why are you Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> this can be a positive. Why is this that? Who is this lady? <laughs> I don't know. I'm. She's. I she's just want to know, weird. like, if he was like, "I'm gonna go use the bathroom." Why is she not questioning that he's still gone? And in my, wait, that's what he said. I. He probably said something like that, or I'll be right back. Like, I'm gonna go going? use the bathroom. Okay, I'm just gonna get naked while you're gone. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna get naked in your room and uh. And just, I guess, wait till you come back or something. This is weird. <clears throat> this is it? What, what do you mean? You're watching, you're just watching her on a fucking camera. Yeah, this is this is wrong, man. This is stupid. I hate this. Okay. Also, now I think about it. Why is this guy in the middle watching? He has a girlfriend anyway. Yeah, bro. What are you doing? <laughs> You're just a horn dog. Make me sick. I was like, wait a minute. Why is he watching? <laughs> I'm so gonna Shazam this song later. Oh my! It would have been funnier if he just like fully like face planted. (laughs) Aren't they like? Where did he go? He's like sweaty, out of shape. Oh god! What? No! Oh my god. You're going to jail now, buddy. Oh. How do you mess up like that, though? How does it. Not that I'm condoning how, this man for how does being it... a creeper, but how does he mess it up and send it to everyone? How does an email work like that? <laughs> I guess it doesn't work like that anymore. No. Was that a was that a monkey on that guy's head? <laughs> Shame on him. You're the one masturbating on his bed. Yeah, you fucking creep. <laughs> You're the one who got naked in his bed. Yeah. Shame on him? <laughs> I'm going to call the cops on you, lady. What? <laughs> What is going on? What? <laughs> you know what Shame this movie you. is? This movie what? is like a pitch perfect. You watch this with a group of people, you're probably going to have a good time. You watch this by yourself. <laughs> this God. is the dumbest thing in the world. What? <laughs> she said, you are mean. Strip. <laughs> what? Oh my God. Honestly, if I was him, I'd be turning off that camera right now. <laughs> For real. Yeah, that's a monkey on the guy's just like shoulder. <laughs> Weird. I'm I'm more interested in that group now than this. What the Bro, she's yawning. <laughs> Bro, she's not even looking at him anyway. Oh my god, no way. That was the the t shirt had plot armor, dude. Oh, did you see? That's what's his name from Blake 182, the guitarist. Oh, is it? Why is his brother dancing? What? (laughs) 
Oh my god. Oh, they're watching? They didn't did they show that a female audience was watching? Yeah, they just did. Well, I think they because they said that like he sent it to like every I don't know if it was an over exaggeration. I, I think the guy said every <clears throat> mailbox or something, so Right. Hey, that guy's in uh, one of my favorite movies of all time, Swim Fan. <laughs> all I'm thinking is, does he have a lock on his door? Because I swear his dad is going to be opening the yeah. door now. Oh, bro, he's terrified. Look at him. You know why he's terrified. I want people to understand this. You're terrified yeah. because you don't know her. Exactly. You don't, you're not comfortable around her. You probably don't even know her. I always say this. Don't have sex with anyone if you don't know. <laughs> no way. <laughs> yeah, that's what's his name from Blank 182. Oh my god. Wait, what? Oh, I thought she was literally about to walk out like that. I was like, what? This is but this is just sad. Who's that guy? Why do you just appear? <laughs> Wait, he just people just walking in? Bro was just like, yo, what are you guys watching? Was this like the first ever movie that's kind of like, I'm not saying this is like porn, but. No way it happened again. <laughs> um, probably. I don't know. It may depend on like what was before it, but it probably was. He deserves to get laughed at. <laughs> <laughs> you deserve it, bro. You know, if this was like a superhero movie, this would be his villain origin story. Yeah, or exactly. You all should be in jail right now. It'll be like, they'll be the ones laughing in the end. <laughs> uh, yeah, I would say, yeah, definitely. Villain origin stories. Thank God this isn't like present present times because that would be kind of dangerous <laughs> oh my god if this was like present i don't think of like this movie nowadays would survive no yeah no way oh my god you're absolutely right that they don't really tackle that in in teenage shows anymore do they bullying no i don't because it's too it's too traumatic yeah and i mean even if they do it's like sort of like um I mean, obviously, there's, like, major arcs in, like, kind of high school shows, but they would do, like, a mini arc. I'm like, this is how the main character overcomes bullying. <clears throat> Crazy. Band camp? <laughs> As foreshadowing. Oh my God, foreshadowing to the, the fifth... American Pie movie. <laughs> right. So you know who this character is supposed to be, right? Um, a band kid? <laughs> no, this is oh, like... Have, wait, have you, have you seen like the covers of the other movies? Oh yeah, she's like on it, so... Isn't she... She either like knew the other main character or his like love interest or whatnot. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They're gonna end up getting married eventually. 
because that's the movie that come. It's American Pie, American Pie Two, and then American Wedding. Oh my god! Oh my god! This is giving me PTSD. I remember back in high school. Story time. I remember. Oh boy. <laughs> I remember back in high school, I had the biggest crush. It wasn't even a crush. At that point, it was something real. I've always said, if you like someone for more than under six months, it's just a crush. If it's more than that, it's something more. My first ever heartbreak. I love this woman so much. And yeah. we, we, we were already going through so much. And then I remember we had an argument in the hall in front of everyone. And she was trying to tell me something, but I just wasn't, I wasn't having it. Like, I don't want to hear yeah. anything from her. I'm like, I'm giving you the finger, two of them, to the side, peace, oh, I'm out. Oh, oh, <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> See what I did there? See what I did there? That's, that's some like oh. mid, two, that's mid 2000s humor. But uh, <laughs> I literally told her like, I'm out of here, whatever. And then yeah. I remember someone telling me like, oh, she was trying to ask you to prom. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god and i was like no because i didn't go to prom my senior year yeah. i didn't go at all i've always hated the idea of prom and it's beca- yeah. probably because of movies like this it always just left a bad taste in my mouth yeah well yeah i mean movies like this kind of i mean i don't know about this one specifically but like this genre is, tries to over romanticized prom is such an amazing time where half the time it probably isn't that amazing as like in a movie no no it's it's sending you subliminal messaging it's yeah. it's it's horrible propaganda um i'm sure the actors at the time are just thinking like well it's just a movie right it's just a yeah. movie it's just this and that and actors when you read between the lines of the script and the director, all this stuff, you see the magic happening. You're not really thinking of this. Who can it influence yeah. and stuff like that? This movie completely influenced a generation of fucking perverts and rapists. You look okay. I have a thing for women with big hair. <laughs> She, you know what? She reminds me of this woman that I asked out a long time ago. Yeah. Who I used to work with on set. I wonder how she's doing. I've been meaning to to text her to be like, "Hey, how you? Hope you're doing well and all that stuff." She's really, really funny. Actually, she's been on this podcast numerous times. (laughs) Oh. She she's like quite hilarious. She's really funny. <clears throat> oh my god what will he choose now is he sticking with the little oh. house <gasps> or is he going to the choir thing <gasps> 
plot twist, he joins the gay porn in- industry. <laughs> he gets on a bus and heads to L.A. This is a weird fucking movie. Oh my god, he's sweating too. <laughs> Look how he's running. So this movie kind of started a genre. You know what I mean? A subgenre yeah. of like buddies, high school buddies trying to get laid. That's a subgenre. Yeah. Oh my god. What the? Dude, why would point, that fucking matter right now? At that <laughs> point, you shouldn't even be doing that. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I ever used a public bathroom like that. Actually, never. Never. I don't think so either. No. Yeah, if it's like a. If I gotta like poo or something, I'm definitely not using a try gonna use a public bathroom. I'm like, eh, I'll just wait till I get home or something. Exactly. That's like not. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, never, never, never have I ever done that. Never. Are you kidding me that they can't see this man's feet under the skull <laughs> in the mirror? Like, you you could literally, how they shoot this, you can see it. How do they not see it? <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> I can't wait till time machines are like a thing. How did they... Okay, either he was in the bathroom for a long time or they got all of those people very quickly. Yeah, like... Yeah, they're just waiting for me to come out. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my god, bro was like, huh? Um, she's a little bit hypocritical right here. You know why this movie isn't amazing? Why? Because nobody has said the title American Pie yet. Oh, that's true. I was, nobody you said, know, I forgot. What were you going to say? You said nobody has been like, this really has been an American Pie, hasn't it? I was just going to ask you, I'm like, how long, how much longer do we have to wait until we get like the actual title? Someone says the actual title. Uh, been like I said apple pie which is really close but it isn't it yeah. well apple pie is America's pie <gasps> but what was I saying what was I saying Okay, she's being a little bit hypo, hype, hypercritical or yeah. is that the right word she's being a hypocrite a little bit yeah you can't you don't really have the right to say that that I think of nothing but sex when clearly you have no problem with me going down on you. Yeah. Uh, if I was him, I would just shut that down completely. <laughs> this is when he's this is a big breaking moment. He's like, I'm leaving coach. I'm going to go to the choir thing. (laughs) Character development. This should have been its own movie then. You know what I mean? Because it has that that kind of art. Yeah. Yeah. But this is like a side plot. (laughs) 
I know it's like the last game of the season, but I'm sure they have playoffs, right? And I'm sure maybe he might, he might be going yeah. for a scholarship. The thing is, for the last game of the season, there does not look like there's that many people. <laughs> That's true. Isn't it supposed to be like homecoming? Not homecoming, so, like, excuse me, like senior night or something like that? Probably. Because like normally you in like games you'd see people in the bleachers. No one's in those bleachers back there. <laughs> Everyone just kind of standing around. <laughs> They're like, oh, is there a game going on? Yeah, it's weird. Oh, he must be. I was like, how does that guy know what he wanted? But I'm like, he's probably in the area. Dude is in shape. Dude dried off all his sweat. Yeah, I don't know how he did that. <laughs> oh! Oh my god, he had a line! He just said a line! Wow. Now they're gonna have to pay this black guy for for how many years? No. <laughs> Paying him so much just for him to say, No, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> He's not really good. Yeah. Yeah, get John Cho back in here. Give yeah. him the she, solo. Yeah, she's okay, I guess. No. Yeah. Oh, my God. What? Yeah. I hate these characters. <clears throat> yeah, this movie would not last. <laughs> no. You don't know what he identifies as, lady. <laughs> exactly. Who is this actress? I need to know. I'm going to look it up. I almost want to text Darby cuz that's who that's that's who she reminds me of. Yeah. <laughs> cuz she has like almost the same voice. Darby has yeah. such a great freaking uh voice. That's why I've always asked her to do my podcast. I'm like, "Oh, you're so good at it." Yeah. Look at this chick. She's so numb to it. She's so numb to it all. She's just like, just do it. She's like, finally. But who's she shacking up with? I don't know. We'll find out at the end of the movie, probably. Look at that black dude bad. in the back. <laughs> I feel bad for the <laughs> I feel bad for the girl that was like in between them, just like casually hearing the person behind her go, I wanna have sex. Oh, <laughs> she's like, she's just trying to do her assignment right now. That's worse. That's the worst. She's like <laughs> She's probably like, I hate this clothes. <laughs> oh god, what is that? What is that shirt <clears throat> he's got? Yeah, bro, what are you doing? Oh, no one asked him to prom? I guess not after he, uh, the whole, when he used the public bathroom. <laughs> I would imagine no one wants to go at Stif Oh, that's not Stifler. No one wants to go at What's-His-Face after the whole webcam thing. This guy? 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's worse. Oh, okay. That was very mean, but sure. <laughs> Natasha Leone. Oh, is that her? Oh my god. She's she's okay. in Russian Doll. Wait, you're telling me this was like one of the first things she was in? I didn't realize oh that god. was her. <laughs> Interesting. What else has she been in? She's in a podcast series. That's interesting. Uh, she's in the one show Poker Face. I remember mm, heard of that. About that. It's like a mystery show or whatnot. Oh yeah, actually, yeah, I have heard of that. It's like on Apple TV. Oh, she was on NTSFSD SUV. That show is freaking hilarious. <laughs> One of the funniest freaking shows ever. She was in Blade Trinity. Holy shit. I remember her in Blade Trinity. She was the blind woman. Oh. Damn. She's gotten around in her career. Oh. Yeah, she went from this to all of that stuff. She was in American Pie 2, but it was only in the deleted scenes. Oh my god, no way. Delete. There she is again. She's numb to it all. Oh my god. Is that going to be this this girl's bit? She's just going to talk about Bandcamp? Oh, that makes sense now. Okay, so in the movie Bandcamp... Yeah. Because one of the main characters is like, oh, I'm going to band camp. This is going to be so lame, so whatever. And it's supposed to be the same band camp she went to. And apparently in this band camp, the kids do nothing there but have sex. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, so this makes sense. He thinks like she's this thing. This complete nerd. But in actuality, she has like the most sexual experience than anybody in that room combined. (laughs) You know what that means now? You gotta watch all five other movies of American Pie now. Oh, God. Well, I am interested to see if if these characters have, like, grown. Yeah. Oh my god. He he's getting development now. Oh. Oh. Okay, okay, he's kinda spitting now. I love her voice. Yeah. And I love her hair. What the fuck? She's got a yeah, flask right. on her? Get the fuck away from me. <laughs> this lady is wild. What? You're telling me she's like almost never talked to this man and spent like fifty dollars getting him that custom flask? What? <laughs> a custom flask. What I am mean, I supposed to do with this? Was, all it had was an F on it for his name, but like what? <laughs> what do I do with a flask? I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it. Because I don't drink at all. I don't know. Maybe put some I water? Just... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's my water bottle, guys. <laughs> <laughs> that would be amazing. I'm just drinking nothing but water and people are witnessing yeah, like, me doing yeah, it man, and just uh, staying sober. Did you be uh, doing that? Doing what? I'm just <laughs> chugging <it's> water. <laughs> <laughs> like trust me, I'm fine. And I drive in a straight line after. <laughs> 
they're like uh, walk across his line for me and it's like oh they're still balanced on it no oh, okay. oh, i completely do a handstand <laughs> yeah Oh my god. He's exposed she's exposed him. Oh my god, why? Why? I don't why know. Why would she do this? She was talking to the the guy that was reading the one book on how to have sex, his girlfriend. So I he probably revealed a lie or something. Well I think she said we never had sex, so he probably told the entire school that they did. Oh and okay. she she's probably like, Oh my god. Oh. It's like, this guy sucks. All right, yeah, he deserves that then. I almost hate this part of the movie. I, I don't like it how you're like trying to reveal like, oh, well, you know what? Sex isn't that important when you just yeah. gave the entire movie moments and scenes that little kids are going to watch and still carry that with them that sex is important yeah. right like that whole thing was just a reveal in terms of dialogue that does nothing mm. i want to like show it give us another iconic moment of like um because obviously the pie fucking is I- iconic to the to the movie. The the webcam mo- moment is iconic. Uh, yeah. That little beer scene. Give us an iconic moment of them saying or showing them saying that you know, sex is not important. I, I, I almost yeah. I not even almost. I hate it. Absolutely hate it. Well, it almost seems like they're trying to like basically redeem these characters at the end. Because, I They're mean... pieces of shit, all of them. Yeah, like, throughout the movie, there's not really anything that likable about them. I mean, the only no. one is the lacrosse guy was... I mean, Yeah, he, he had a legit arc. He, he had a legit likeable arc. likable and all that. But everybody else was kind of just, eh, like, let's have sex. I need to have sex. I'm gonna die if I don't have sex. And now they're right. like, maybe I don't need sex. And it's like... It's like what? What? How did you reach that anyway? Yeah, you're just like, yeah. You're now, yeah. like what? It's what the hell? Why was that kid just there? <laughs> Yo, this, this is man like... was like this man's like. Can I please stay and watch? <laughs> he's he's gonna grow up to be a a sicko. Yeah. Fucking Jeffrey Dahmer over here. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking sick. Yo, this is actually just the prequel movie to American Psycho. That kid is going to become Patrick Bateman now. Oh my god, i never seen that movie. <laughs> Holy god. Is that what he does? No, it would be amazing if that was the ultimate link to it. <laughs> <laughs> this kid becomes Patrick Bateman. Oh my god. Yeah, this guy's likable. Yeah, he's okay, but I don't understand why he's like a side plot. He should have been the main character. No, yeah. it shouldn't have been the guy with the pie. <laughs> yeah, fuck him. <laughs> yeah. Fuck his rinkadink family too. Yeah, his, his kind of perverted dad. I was walking in on him. <laughs> Okay, okay. <laughs> he doesn't even know that he's already in there. <laughs> he's cooking? He's cooking? <laughs> Let him cook. <laughs> he's, he's cooked the full course meal? It's about to be served? Oh, that would also... The let him cook would also be... In If this was movie... If, like, American Pie movie was made now, that would also be in the movie. Yeah. Yeah. Hold definitely. on, hold on. Let him cook. Let him cook. No, <laughs> no. Don't say that. <laughs> oh 
Um, yeah. Wow, this guy's like super rich. He's got a room for a pool table. That's not his his house, though. Oh, is it? I thought it was the the jerky guy's house. Oh, is it? Interesting. Because yeah, he is this, rich. This is uh, this lady. Isn't it meant to be his mom? Oh yeah. There was the yeah. family photo of like her right above his like portrait. You're absolutely right. It's it's his cabin house or something like that. Yeah. One of his okay. fifty lake houses or whatnot. <laughs> right. So this is um. This is a, a, a supposed to be an iconic character, aka Stifler's mom, because that's his mom. Yeah. I think I know what's gonna happen, and I cannot wait to talk shit about it. <laughs> talk about how disgusting it is. Oh. She's a pedophile. I'm just gonna go out and say it. Oh yeah, no, I I think I this is one of the few things I also know from this movie, on all the Stifler's mom stuff. <laughs> It never said how old they were, right? I think it's probably assumed. I want to say it's a, yeah, assumed just because they keep mentioning like senior year and it's like at the end of it, so right. they're all should roughly be eighteen, just about to be turned eighteen. I want to say yeah, yeah. She's still a pedophile. Yeah. <laughs> disgusting what makes you like i don't get it i don't get it like what makes her that's that's like stranger things like the mom was trying to fuck what's his face that's like oh yeah (laughs) you know who i'm talking about billy that character billy yeah and he wasn't 18 he wasn't 18 yeah he was 17. I remember that. Like, that came completely out of left field. Good. The year is 1999. Stop talking to me and turn on some Star Trek. <laughs> Normal style. <clears throat> it's nineteen ninety nine. Didn't the Nintendo sixty four just came out? Maybe. Oh, I'd probably oh. be on that if it was out then. <laughs> exactly. I'm not even I'd be like, caught go dead to this here. party. I'll be like, nah, I'm a I'm gonna play Nintendo real quick. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Star Fox 64 just released. <laughs> oh my god. I'm out of here. Like, Yo, where are you going? I gotta play Star Fox, man. <laughs> Mario Party. Super Mario. Or freaking Mario 64. Like, get out of here. This is a nice song. <clears throat> That's weird. You're about to have sex outside. Do yeah. it at, at this uh, at this other guy's cabin. Yeah, people have no shame. I mean, yeah, that other couple's like in one of the bedrooms in this cabin. So, all right, let's see how this happens. What has this actress done? I haven't seen her in anything else besides American Pie. Um, this lady was in uh, what was it? How I Met Your Mother. Wait, did you hear that? Oh my god! <laughs> did you hear what she said? She said she plays the flute, and she says she would put it in her pussy. <laughs> Oh, God, I didn't even hear that. I just heard him go, huh? 
I was like, what? <laughs> oh, wait, you're telling me nobody told him this until now? No, 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 he knew. He had to know. Oh, wait. Yeah, 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 he knew, he knew. Oh, oh, he probably just didn't know it reached, like, to her or whatnot. Because he mm. was like, what in it? <laughs> Bro, who says that <laughs> you are quite striking? You would know. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. On the I like the 90s people. version of the song no. a lot by the Lemonheads. I don't understand. How does this happen? Look at him. He's bored now. Yeah. You know what it is? It's all that expectations the porn yeah. is ruining your experience all those all those all the knowledge from the book he read <laughs> mm -hmm. it's so weird it's so interesting always seeing sex scenes and 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 just other actors trying to talk about what in the world Oh my god. <laughs> I'm scared for my life. <laughs> that's just... I was probably terrified after that. It's probably like, right. Oh. There's, there's no consent, no nothing. She's just yelling at me. I'd be surprised if I cut back and he was like in the corner curled up crying. He's like, <laughs> 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 See, okay. this guy might be the best character, and he's probably not gonna come back. <laughs> no, no, he'll be, like, he'll be back. He'll, he'll be go back. on a he'll go on a trip. <laughs> he should be back. Oh, get out of here! She's she's f freaking um Lexi, an American dad. Oh, the red hair actress. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. She's she been that character. Oh wait, that's not like a big character though. She's she's only been on three episodes. Yeah. Oh, let's see. Abducted man of the house. Robot chicken. Oh, that's right. Okay, she's the main character on um how I met your mother. Yeah. yeah That's she's what really... it is. Hmm, well that's interesting cuz that's 05. Oh, okay. So she did these movies and then after those movies what with... Oh, that's right. Damn, she's actually done like a, a lot of Oh yeah, she was also in Buffy and the Vampire Slayer. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at. She's uh, Willow. The last guest I had on the podcast was huge. Like that's like one of her favorite shows. And I'm like, I never really gave that show a chance. Huh. As you should be. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> I wish Cara Marie would use me. <laughs> <laughs> It's such a cheap movie. <laughs> Come on.
What, Stifler's mom? <laughs> what? What is this restaurant? Like, what do they serve here? I just... The cup design, I'm so curious about. It looks yeah. like two cups, but there's, like, no lids as well. Yeah. Dog years? Yeah. So maybe it's just, like, hot, hot dog dogs. Years? Oh my god, is he he's Twitch streaming again? This guy's like Mark Zeckenberg. His door isn't fully closed. Oh my god. <laughs> his dad is his dad and probably his mom are gonna peer over and like, huh? What is he, why does he keep doing this? Okay, that door must be like the hinges must have been changed or something, because that did not squeak at all. It was literally like, whoop. oh, oh, okay, <laughs> oh, 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 he's getting jiggy with it. That is, is probably it? one of the worst endings I've ever seen for a movie. <laughs> yeah. Is that it? That's it. There's no, there's no end credits. <laughs> no, no, there's no uh, end credits. To let us know what villain is gonna. Appear what? in the next movie. But I need to know if uh, I need to know if insert character name returns in the next one. <laughs> um. Okay, so let's let's really get into this. Um, I'm gonna start f- for well, no, no, no. I'll let you start. Tell me what can you appreciate, or tell me what your overall thought of the movie. Scale it one to ten, and then what can you appreciate from the film? Um. Um. I'm trying to think of what I I know it's it's definitely on the lower end out of one out of ten. Hmm. I'm trying to think. I'll I'll get back to what I think. <laughs> um, <laughs> the the stuff I like though I I think the one guy I think his name was Chris the lacrosse guy who would yeah you fire. he was yeah, oh yeah it, yeah he's uh, he's literally you. me. Yeah, not to be uh, inflating my own ego, but uh, <laughs> no, yeah. but he was probably one of the better parts. Just like his character was actually not like as horrible as his friends were. Yeah, that's very true. And, yeah, and I mean, his his he had development. His development sort of actually felt like believable than just randomly going, "Hey guys, I think this now." Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I mean, I agree. He, he actually had his own like side plot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, I completely agree. Yeah. I want to say maybe like. What would you rate it? <laughs> I would rate this probably about like a four. A three. And it's yeah. tough because I wouldn't necessarily say it's because it, this wasn't a hard movie to watch. Yeah. One of the things I can appreciate it is that it has the correct and proper runtime that it should have. Yeah. Um, it wasn't boring, but I can't give it anything higher than a five due to the content in itself. And I feel yeah. that I hate to say it, but I feel like a parent in like the early two thousands when I'm like, it's the these video games are like are changing our kids and like the, the yeah. violence and all that. Stuff. I feel like one of those parents because there's no reason why this movie should be made. Yeah. Because of how much of an impact it would have on the youth in such a negative way. I feel like. Yeah. I mean, that sort of makes sense. Cause like how stuff is today was like very different from some of the stuff that's in that movie. Like, some stuff they've done and said in the movie like would not fly with like how today has sort of how like the world has sort of progressed from then. Yeah. So it's a bit yeah. easier to sort of look on and been like, yeah, that was like this is kind of not good at all. And all right. that like Right, right, right. So yeah. growing up for me, because I was born in ninety four and obviously I wasn't old enough to see this movie in theaters, however, I was the I was the generation. I would say you and I were the generation that this movie influenced 
because after American Pie became a plethora of freaking movies with this exact same theme. Um, The one I can remember the most is like uh, Not Another Teen Movie. You remember that? Um, Was that the one with like Chris Evans in it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was like a parody of like the teen movies and all that. Yeah, yeah. It was a parody of like, I think She's All That, but it also had nothing but American Pie references. You had other movies such as uh, other National Lampoon movies that had the same concept as American Pie. Basically, just a lot of the stuff. And I felt as a kid that even when sex shouldn't be on my mind, it was all I can think about when when watching these movies and other uh, things in the media, yeah. which is crazy. Because, you know what they say, sex sells. But... Yeah. Um, I feel like I have to rate it this low because the the directors, the writers, and maybe a little bit of the actors, sometimes the actors, they don't have much control over it, but there's just no responsibility. You have a responsibility when you make a project like this to maybe even have a, I don't know, a caution before the movie or after the movie or or at least when you throw in so many iconic scenes about sex and this and that. You have to at least dignify why it's not that important or why it is important yeah. to your younger audiences. And I feel like this movie didn't do that. It treated it all as one big joke. You know what this movie is? Basically what this movie is, is, um, and I remember because this happened to me at my brother's wedding like a few weeks ago. What this movie is, is basically someone a lot older coming up to you and like, Oh, so when's that bachelor party? I bet that bachelor party was pretty yeah. nice, huh? With all the women. <laughs> oh, yeah. But they had like big tits and all. <laughs> uh, but, no, I'm, I'm just joking. Anyway, but uh, yeah, have a good time. Yeah. Like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> like, <laughs> but, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's, it's that. It, like, you have that mindset. The movie gives you that kind of mindset, but it also is like, yeah, we know it's kind of dickish, but, you know, but here you go yeah yeah i mean like also at the end there was all of them were like maybe sex is in all that guys but then like it was very counterproductive because then they all sort of had their moments of like having sex with someone and it was like okay then it's like what was the point of them suddenly thinking sex isn't important yeah i agree i completely agree this movie should be studied honestly as cheap as it is, as cheap as this movie was to make, as as much of no names as these actors were back then, they completely shaped a generation. And I don't know if it yeah. was for better or for worse. I honestly do not know. Um, yeah. There are a lot of things also that are very questionable. Like, filming someone without their consent yeah. is pretty wild, pretty insane. Um just using the L word, just telling someone you love them just to sleep with them is pretty insane. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that I don't think was not really talked about. Instead, the film just talked about like, oh, well, you know what? Having sex is not a big deal. Even though you, you took all the extremes to get there, to just to somehow magically come to that conclusion. Yeah. So it's weird. It's just, it's a really weird film. Um, and I cannot wait to talk about it to the woman that i'm dating (laughs) (laughs) yeah i mean also i think because they sort of are like oh well that was kind of weird but you know it's a comedy so they're just joking around they don't truly mean that statement so it was like that's why people were kind of like oh okay yeah that's that's cool because i mean you would feel like it i would feel like it'd be like a bit more talked about like around then and all that but like no this movie is setting like horrible examples and standards and all that but i don't i mean i sort of wasn't really born around that time yet so um i mean yeah like you would think you would hear something but you really haven't so i'm like okay maybe people are just like oh it's a comedy they're just they're joking you know they don't mean that yeah and i think as adults we can decipher that because yeah. we've already went through our own experiences and frustrations, yeah. but kids are not going to know the difference. So, yeah, 
I could still classify this film as trash. Yeah. <laughs> I still can. But um but yeah, so yeah, that's that's the podcast. That's the that's American Pie. Uh I want to thank my guest Chris for coming on here again and uh witnessing this movie yeah. with me. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Also to go back, I would say my rating is like a uh, three and a half out of ten, I would say. Mm. Probably. Because I also sort of feel like I wouldn't, it would be, it ha- I would like automatically, I'm like, this is below five, like a five out of 10. It's going to be below that anyway. And I'm sort of like, eh, three and a half feels like a good spot. I'm like, cause there were some good jokes. There were some, I'm like, okay. I was like, oh, that joke wouldn't fly. And then other ones, I'm like, okay, that was, that was kind of stupid, but it was kind of funny. Like, right. Like I laugh. Life. Yeah. I laughed yeah. in the movie, but I feel like I laugh because I'm watching it with you. I feel like I yeah. wouldn't laugh at anything if I was watching it by myself. <laughs> yeah, some of the stuff I feel like you'd be a bit more critical, sort of on your own. Like what? Like what? No, that that that's a horrible joke to say or do. Or if you're sort of watching it with someone, you can be like, "Oh, you can both feel like no, that's actually stupid," and be like, "Okay, that's kind of funny though. That's stupid though." I'm looking it up now. So American Pie Two came out two thousand one, two years after. And it made even more money. <laughs> like, yeah, obviously, because people were probably like, "This movie's amazing," so they're like, "Made nearly sequels got to be even better." Yeah, it made nearly three hundred million. And, Do you um, know what was the worst selling one out of like the the franchise of American Pie? <laughs> that's a good question. Let's see, American Wedding made. No, they oh well American American Wedding made less, but it still made two hundred and and thirty two million. Oh. So no. these movies were making money and I don't yeah. well, I can understand why they were making money, because sex sells, but American Wedding was the final installment in terms of the ones that were actually released in theaters, and then after that they were all released in um No wait, no no no, that's not true. American reunion right when did this come out oh wow american reunion came out in 2012 oh <laughs> and that has the actors oh huh. well it makes sense if it's like american reunion so they're like oh they're coming back again oh probably like high school reunion type type thing yeah probably <laughs> made 235 million huh yeah, don't under. My bad. Yeah, I'll probably watch the second one by myself, just to kind of <laughs> figure it. I don't know, try to figure it out. But um, yeah, this was an interesting watch. I'm gonna definitely download that Blink One Eighty Two song. <laughs> yeah, because that's what's important. But yeah. thank you again, Chris, for coming on here. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for having me. <laughs> yeah, it's always a a classic watch. Uh, this will definitely be up there. Next to uh, Black Adam and Men. <laughs> oh, well, right now, this probably... I was like, this might be the one I've enjoyed the most out of all yeah, the movies definitely. we've seen. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't wait to edit this. Uh, I'm going to edit it and get it out there. But um, yeah, thank you again. And Starfighters, uh, if you're listening to this on YouTube, leave a comment below or anywhere you listen to your podcast. Leave a review and I will see you on the next one. But until then, Victor or Death Star Fighters. Victory or Death!